To make sure our critical control points are working as intended, we need a reliable system for monitoring them. This means setting up a planned series of checks or measurements to track whether a critical control point is staying within its critical limits. These observations provide valuable records and help us maintain control. Why is monitoring important? Monitoring serves three key purposes, tracking and maintaining control. By keeping a close eye on our processes, we can spot trends that might lead to problems. If we see a process veering off course, we can take action before it exceeds a critical limit. Identifying deviations. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, a process might go beyond its critical limit. Monitoring helps us detect these deviations quickly so we can take corrective action immediately, providing evidence. Monitoring creates a documented record of our efforts to maintain safety. This documentation is essential for verifying that our system is working correctly. How should we monitor? Ideally, monitoring should be continuous, like constantly recording the temperature of a cooking process. This is often possible with physical and chemical measurements. For example, in canning, temperature and time are continuously recorded to ensure proper sterilization. However, continuous monitoring isn't always feasible. In those cases, we need to establish a monitoring schedule and procedure that provides reliable information about the critical control point. This might involve using statistical sampling methods. Who is responsible? Clearly assigning responsibility for monitoring is crucial. This will depend on the number of critical control points and how complex the monitoring procedures are. Often, production staff like line supervisors and quality control personnel are involved. Whoever is responsible must be properly trained. They need to understand the monitoring techniques. They must grasp the importance of monitoring and its role in food safety. They need to be objective in their observations and reporting. They should know what to do if they see a trend towards losing control. They must immediately report any deviations from critical limits. Essential qualities of monitoring. Effective monitoring has a few key qualities. Accuracy. Monitoring equipment must be calibrated correctly to ensure accurate readings. Speed. Most monitoring needs to be quick because it often involves real-time processes where there's no time for lengthy testing. Documentation. All monitoring records must be dated and signed or initialed by the person doing the monitoring. What about microbiological testing? While microbiological testing is sometimes necessary, it's usually not the ideal monitoring method. This is because it takes time to get results and it can be difficult to detect low levels of contamination reliably. Physical and chemical measurements are often preferred because they are faster and more effective for ensuring control of microbiological hazards. Key takeaway. Monitoring is like the eyes and ears of our food safety system. It helps us keep processes on track, identify deviations and maintain records that demonstrate our commitment to safety.